<clears throat> so nice. What is up, everybody? Demo the Warrior here, back again with Austin the Artist. Uh, so this week, we have reviewed Raw Legends Night, which was horrible. Probably one of the worst Raws I've ever personally seen. Um, oh. And we reviewed, well, Austin reviewed uh, NXT New Year's Evil and AEW New Year's Smash Night 1. Um, those, i say, were better than Raw, but still not the greatest shows ever. Then we had SmackDown tonight which smackdown was actually a pretty decent show some things don't make sense and we're gonna get into those things because i got some things to say austin has some things to say so let's get into it all right so so i'll start off you can go ahead okay we start off with roman reigns in the ring so that's like we always do Mm -hmm. it's just like always so yeah, it was Roman, Jey Uso, and Paul Heyman. And from what I saw of it, uh, so to preface this, we were sh- live streaming during the SmackDown, so Austin didn't watch it. And I had it playing on my phone, and I kept glancing at it. I know everything that happened, but in terms of like the if there's promos, I didn't really listen to them. But Austin just went back and fast forwarded through SmackDown and checked out some Basically, stuff. Basically, so, the know. gist of it was he, if there was going to be a gauntlet match, which we'll get to because they announced the gauntlet match apparently before, mm-hmm. that if anyone's going to be in it, Adam Pierce is going to be in it because he's the one who made the match. He should be in it, which I, I don't know the logic between that. Yeah. But okay. Yeah, but the uh, gauntlet match was announced, at least on WWE's Twitter, as King Corbin versus Rey Mysterio versus Daniel Bryan versus Sami Zayn versus Shinsuke Nakamura, but we'll get to that later since it was the main event. Main, yeah. Then it's Apollo versus Big E for the Intercontinental Championship. Why is Apollo going for the title? Why? I don't know. I couldn't tell you. Uh... I only seen bits and pieces of this match. I know something happened at the end. Uh, WWE posted it on their Twitter, I think. I don't know. It was something where Apollo thought he won, but he didn't win. It was weird. Uh, so they, on, I'm looking at their Twitter now. It says they ruled it as a draw, meaning Big E is still That's champ, gonna... and Apollo got really mad. And it's gonna be Apollo versus Big E at the Rumble. I've been telling you. Oh, their match, their match restarted. I didn't see oh, this part. Oh, never mind. Uh, looked like B- Big E dominated Apollo in the second match and retained. Oh, okay. So, um... Yeah. Then Sonya Deville, she came back last week to the awe of everybody. Did nothing last week. She just walked in the backstage. So apparently she goes up to Adam Pierce and is like, I I would like a job. And apparently that job is co-general manager. So she's co-general manager, I guess. Yeah. I mean, it's interesting. I'm not sure exactly what she's going to do, but it is interesting. Um, then we had a backstage... Uh, thing with Bailey and Bianca Belair, and they both declared themselves in the Royal Rumble match. So that's two more names you can add to that. I think in the yeah. Women's Rumble now we have Charlotte, Nia Jax, Bailey, and Bianca Belair. I don't know if anybody else. What a lineup! <laughs> My pick would be Bianca. Oh yeah. Though I think they they might go with Bailey because I think they might want to do. Bailey versus Sasha at WrestleMania. Maybe. I don't know. I want Bianca yeah. to win them. She's but, the favorite. Uh, yeah. Next, we had the, the SmackDown Tag Team Champions, the Street Profits versus Dolph Ziggler and Robert Roode. Um, this match, it, I mean, at least Ziggler and Roode are wearing matching gear now and stuff. But, yeah. I mean, it's just... Ziggler and Rude have been a team for so long, and it's hard to care about them. And then you had the Street Profits, who have been 
SmackDown and Raw Tag Team Champions for so long, and I like I just do not give a single shit about the Street Profits. I don't really find them entertaining like I used to, and so this this tag team match really didn't draw me in at all. I saw a couple. If anybody, moves. okay, so Ziggler and Bobby won, but if anybody should have won the titles away from the Street Profits, it should have been Andrade and Angel Garza. Yeah, just what a what a weird night to have like a, a SmackDown tag team title change. Like just really weird. Just randomly have the titles change hands to Rude and Ziggler of all people. Like Like weird. I understood when they got the titles against Strowman and, and Rollins like two years ago. Legit two years ago. Yeah. But now what have they done? Since then, nothing. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. I mean, Rude was injured for the longest time, and then he came back were... with a WWE Championship match. I know at one point they were cronies for King Corbin. Yeah. That's about it. Up until now, anyway. That's how I saw Bobby Rude at a, at a live show. But, yeah, the Rude and Ziggler win the SmackDown tag titles. I don't know how long they're going to hold them. I don't imagine too long. Um, then they did a thing uh, where they, I guess, uh, Sports Illustrated did their top superstars of 2020, and they put the number one superstar of 2020 as Sasha Banks, so WWE showed that off, which I'm fine with because Sasha Banks is great. I don't know well, what your number two are. is probably Kenny Omega. Oh, I, number three is probably Orange Cassidy. I saw the list. Number two was John Moxley. I forget, I forget who number three was. Probably Kenny Omega, knowing them. Uh, I wish I could find the Sports Illustrated tweet about it. Hold on. Maybe if I go to it. Jesus, they tweet a lot of NBA stuff. That's because they're Sports Illustrated. Okay, it's not on their Twitter. Let me look this up. By the way, this Sports is probably going to be the only week top must... superstars of 2020. Go ahead. This is probably going to be the only week we do this consecutively. Yeah. I know we do plan on doing a Royal Rumble review the day after, but we don't know if we're not doing this consecutively. Yeah. All right, so just in case you're curious, here's Sports Illustrated top tw- uh, top 10 wrestlers of 2020. So number one was Sasha Banks. Number two, John Moxley. Number Ugh. three, Drew McIntyre. Number eh. four, Tetsuya Naito. Number five, Kenny Omega. Ugh. Number six, Bailey. Number seven, eh. Io Shirai. Eh. Number eight, Kota Ibushi. Number Ugh. nine, Roman Reigns. And number 10, Eddie Ugh. Kingston. Oh, at least they gave 10 to Eddie Kingston, a good wrestler. Yeah. God damn it. You know, besides his garbage match stuff. Twitter's lagging. Now I gotta go back to WWE's page. Hold on. I wouldn't have, I would have enjoyed to see, like, MJF on the top 10. You know, he, he definitely deserved to be on the top 10, not freaking Kota Ibushi. Yeah, so then they did a after the tag team match and after talking about Sasha being the number one wrestler in Sports Illustrated for 2020, uh, they did a backstage thing with Paul Heyman and Adam Pierce, and uh, Paul Heyman said he pulled a few strings and Adam Pierce is in the gauntlet match. Uh, then they did, which we'll get to the gauntlet match. Don't worry, it's coming up. But right before the gauntlet match, we got. A backstage segment with the Riot Squad, Ruby Riot, and Liv Morgan versus, oh. uh, and also Billy Kay was there. And Billy Kay is trying to join up with the Riot Squad, and she started crying, and it was just really cringy. Why? 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 Okay. Oh, there's something we missed. Yeah, you missed the Carmella thing, but before we go oh, to that, to I'm going to say something. I'm going to say something. Mm hmm. Give it Peyton to him, Royce 
and Billy Kay broke up, Peyton Royce dyed her hair hair purple, mm-hmm. and now she's in a nothing tag team with Lacey Evans. Freaking Billy Kay is in a tutu, <laughs> crying about how she wants to be in the, in the goddamn Riot Squad. Why would you want to be in the Riot Squad? That team is broke up and reformed. It's not even a good formed team. Yeah. You're an Australian person in a tutu. How are you going to fit in the freaking Riot Squad? <laughs> I already know one thing I'm doing for the thumbnail then. <laughs> <laughs> but so the one thing I missed I guess I just scrolled why did they have to do this with the Iconics I don't know why it sounds like I... they're only le- well at least recently their only legit women's tag team that they had left and then that they broke them the up that was the best ta- women's tag team that they had left <laughs> that was the best. best and they broke them up the best why <laughs> why <laughs> Oh my <sighs> god. He said the best. <laughs> they break up all their tag teams. Yep, Otis. No and wonder <laughs> nobody cares about their tag team division because they break them up and then they make makeshift ones like Robert Roode and Dolph Ziggler. <laughs> Austin, can, Austin can go on a whole rant about the tag division. That's how bad it and is. And then when they push a tag team, they push them down our throats like the Street Profits <laughs> or the New Day. <sighs> oh, don't worry, Austin. You're they not the only, only had one, one title reign. The Iconics only had one title reign. They could have easily got five in that time span. <laughs> <laughs> I say they were probably well. I was gonna say that, but after Bailey and Sasha had them again, I can't really say that. I was gonna say the Iconics were the best tag team champions, but after like the last reign Bailey and Sasha had, I can't say that. <laughs> You can't say the Iconics were the best tag team champions because they did nothing with them when they were. Yeah, that's true. They had them lose just, in a. They, they had them lose in them. a freaking. <laughs> they had them lose in a four-way Raw match, and they were the first people eliminated. <laughs> and Nikki Cross, their makeshift team of Nikki Cross and Lexa Bliss won. Yeah, and that didn't last. And too somehow long. they they are two time. <laughs> so somehow. <laughs> Somehow, oh they are two-time women's tag team champions, but the Iconics weren't. If you ask me, I think they need to get rid of those championships. Like, they literally have no teams. They mean besides nothing. Makeshift they teams. mean nothing. And they, they don't treat no it teams. like it's important. They literally have it on Asuka and Charlotte Flair, but literally that whole thing is going to be about the Raw women's title. Not the, they not, not could the have titles. had it. They could have had it on the Iconics, but you know what they don't? They don't do it, for one. And for two, they wouldn't care. Dude, yeah. I was I was so excited when they won it at freaking Mania. I was so excited. I'm like, they're, they're actually going to make, make these tag titles legitimate. <laughs> they destroyed it. That way. <laughs> no! Because they were off TV for months, and then they got put in a random goddamn four-way tag, elimination tag, eliminated first, Nikki Cross and Lex Blister champions. Then in yeah. their rematch, they lose in five freaking minutes. And they yeah. were on the pre-show. <laughs> they were having that pre-show submission, Hell in a Cell. <laughs> and then, and then, they, they do nothing with the Iconics, but put them in awful freaking storylines and they couldn't even be there for half of 2020 because the freak freaking pandemic so we're sitting there no iconics for 2020 for halfway through and when they come back they're only on screen as a tag team for three months yeah and then they break them up because <laughs> it was a and dumb then... thing where they they had the riot squad versus the iconics and the team who lost had to break up <laughs> And what are they doing with the Riot Squad that was so good to make sure that they broke up the Iconics? They moved them to SmackDown and do nothing with them. <laughs> My point exactly. They break up a good team. <laughs> they... they... Oh. <laughs> oh, but the freaking... When ba- when Bailey and Sasha had it, like... They, I didn't like... care about Bailey and Sasha. 
I like, cared about even, the Iconics being champions. Like they did, they didn't make the titles important. Like to me, it felt like when they had them, it felt like they just had them. It didn't. No, because they both like had the mattered. world titles. They're like, yeah. oh, we just had these. Nobody else yeah. could have them, so we we have the world titles. We're just gonna defend those. And then they gave them to Shayna and Nia. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> <sighs> Shayna is a world champion championship material. Not tag relegated to a tag team with Nia Jax. I find it funny how Nia Jax is in the Royal Rumble, but Shane is not. Why is Shane not in the Royal Rumble? <laughs> he said Shane. <laughs> I don't know. Nia Jax can just announce herself. Does that mean she should have won every... last year? Not Charlotte. But <laughs> I no. Guess, I guess anybody. I bet you can Charlotte's going to win herself. the Money in the Bank too. I guess now anybody can just announce their self for the Rumble. They don't even have to, like, pick numbers or anything like they used to. Shayna, like, just announce yourself for the Rumble and win, please. Yeah. <laughs> or Peyton or Billy, one of you, announce yourself for the Rumble and win. Get out of the predicament that you're in. <laughs> predicament? <laughs> oh, my God. Austin's women tag team rant. <laughs> Well, I mean, why? They had they, they had so much potential. They had the Riot Squad. They had Absolution. They had freaking the Iconics, Sasha yeah. and Bailey, which I didn't really care for. They even I could even say something about they had Nia and Tamina. That's a better fit than Nia and Shayna. Yeah, and then like they even had like. Other teams like they they had they uh, had Beth in in freaking Natalia. um Natalia they had the Kabuki Warriors they, they had, had teams in NXT and stuff too they had uh, Dakota and Tegan and uh, and they I forget what other teams they had Triple H is taking Vince's advice he broke up Tegan and Dakota <laughs> I guess at that time you could have had uh, Rhea and Raquel too. A da. <laughs> I don't know if there's any and, women's tag teams in NXT dude, UK or anything, but no, there's no women's tag teams right now except for one that I could recall, which is it's Casey Catanzaro in Carter. this other chick. Yeah, in and the Riot Squad. That's it. <laughs> yeah, that's all they have, and they're doing a t women's Dusty Rhodes Classic. <laughs> Why? I guess ba if, if you want to be technical. Bailey and Carmella are a team because I seen everybody posting on Instagram and stuff calling them Bay Mella, and apparently they used to be a team in NXT or something. So what? If you, if you want to count that, <laughs> I'm not gonna count it <laughs> because that makes no goddamn freaking sense. <laughs> God dang freaking sense. <laughs> it doesn't. It makes no sense. Why would? Why is Carmella and Bailey teaming? Because they have no tag teams. Their I can't little wait for tag next team title match was Charlotte and Asuka, who don't go together at all. Sasha and Bianca, which I can kind of see that one. but And then Bailey and Carmella. And then <sighs> Peyton and Lacey Evans. <laughs> and Riot Squad. And that's, like, most of those are makeshift teams. I can't wait for the... For... When we get another and Raw Nine Legends Shana. night, when they bring back freaking um, <laughs> Alicia Fox and Tori Wilson and team them up, because you know what, they're legends. I think it'd be it would have been cool if they would have like still had actually Trish Alicia and Fox isn't a legend, isn't a legend. Yeah, no, she's not. <laughs> but I think it would have been cool if they if they like during the whole height of the women's tag team title thing. If they would have had like Trish and Lita come in and do a few matches and stuff and be champions for a little bit, that could have elevated those titles. But they didn't. I could have even seen them having Mickey and Alexa be a team still. That or, um, I don't know. <laughs> I was gonna say Mickey and Trish, but I don't know how well they would have worked because of um, their history. Yeah, wasn't their history like Mickey was a stalker lesbian? Yep. Oh, so, <laughs> does anybody remember that Liv Morgan is supposed to be a lesbian? Or oh, yeah, that's that? right. Remember that? <laughs> Started 2020, and now it's gone? Yeah, freaking Liv Morgan, Lana, Rusev, Bobby Maybe that's Lashley why the Riot Squad are back together. Maybe that's why the Riot Squad are back together. 
I mean, hey. <laughs> I mean, they're not going to say it, but we could think it. Well, I guess before Charlotte, I guess you could. I guess another team would have been Asuka and Lana, but that was terrible. <laughs> Don't even mention that team. That I mean, the, that team doesn't even need to be discussed. Apparently, if Lana's Lana quote unquote is in injured. any team, if Lana is in any team, she needs to be in, in a team with Eva Marie and become an t- enhancement talent. <laughs> God. <sighs> Austin said did he you wasn't know? Did tonight. you know it was confirmed? <laughs> did you know it was confirmed that Eva Marie was actually backstage at a Raw? Really? In December? <laughs> I'm not even joking you. Jesus Christ. I mean, hey, she has purple hair, so maybe they'll put her with Peyton Royce. That would be worse! <laughs> Are you All right, going? go on about Carmella. Go on about Car- Carmella. Austin said, I'm not ranting this time. <laughs> Just go on about Car- Carmella. <laughs> All right. Let me take my gum out so I don't choke and her in freaking my... servant. Seething it's kind of messed up how her servant is black, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of messed up. Oh, my God. Okay, so... Now that Austin's ranted about that, let me get to my freaking rant because my rant is going to be about Carmella because I absolutely like I I don't understand why people like obsess over Carmella and like why people say Carmella deserves this and Carmella deserves that. I mean, she's decent enough in the ring, but she's the kind she's of good wrestler... looking, but she's not good in the ring. She's the kind of wrestler where her opponent has to make her look good in order for her to look good. And that's a problem. She's a Lana or an Eva Marie, basically. I mean, she's better than both of them, I would say. But, like, it's just... So, let me say what happened She's a Christy Hemming. She's a Christy Hemming. So, she did this backstage thing where she's, like, drinking wine because apparently Carmella is just obsessed with wine now. I think she has her own wine brand, like the Bella Twins or something. Uh, and she has this servant now who's this black dude. I don't know what his name is. It's kind of messed up. I'm just saying. <laughs> but, um, so she was already in a feud with Sasha, and Sasha pinned her clean in a women's title match. So then they did Bailey and Sasha, I mean, uh, Bailey and Carmella versus Bianca and Sasha last week or something, and Carmella pinned Sasha clean. So now apparently Carmella is getting another title match. And I just don't. Because why not? I don't understand why. Because it's the Vince McMahon logic book. If you get pinned, and if you still got pinned clean, and if you pin her again, you get another shot. (laughs) I like how this is turning into your rant. But, like, the the thing, I can't say nobody wants to see Carmella as champion because there's all these people saying that Carmella deserves to be champion and she's such a good heel and this and that. And, like, for me, I just, I don't see the difference between this Carmella and the old, like, heel Carmella from, like, when she was SmackDown Women's Champion. I don't see a difference. Like, I don't see a difference in character. I don't see the a only, difference in wrestling The only thing ability. I see that's different, the only thing I see that's different is she doesn't have James Ellsworth on a leash. That was terrible. <laughs> she changed James Ellsworth for a black guy. That's the only thing that changed. And Yeah. But freaking, like... It's just like all these people say she deserves to be champion when she sucks in the ring. And like they're putting her in this rivalry with Sasha where Sasha, I watched at uh, TLC their match. It was decent. Sasha made Carmella look as good as she possibly could, but Carmella just sucks and she's just there because of how hot she is. I don't give a shit what Carmella says. I don't give a shit what the Carmella stands say. Come after me. Fucking tweet me. At me. Whatever the fuck you want to do. Carmella is trash. Hot garbage. In the ring, she's she's hot. I will say that much. But <laughs> outside of that, in the ring, she's hot garbage. And, like, her new gear doesn't even, like, fit right. She's always having to fix it all the time. Like, the freaking oh, yeah. leg things, the trunks, the top, the arm things. Like, it wasn't fucking made correctly, probably because they wanted to rush it and get Carmella back on TV when nobody wanted her fucking back on TV any goddamn way. But they don't have any goddamn women in these goddamn divisions because fucking 
they treat the only the... women's division that they have is an NXT. Yeah, and even that even that division is getting stale. Yeah. And the, and, 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 and 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 they they have women in NXT UK. They don't do shit with their division. I've checked out some of NXT UK. Their their fucking women's division sucks. It sucks. I haven't seen they don't got Rhea Ripley no more. They don't got Tony Storm anymore. All they got is like fucking Ginny and Zaya Brookside and Kaylee Ray, who's probably the best person they have there. It's because they like, haven't been able to sign anybody. Didn't they have Piper Niven or Viper? Yeah. Or... I, th- I think she's still there. I don't fucking know. My 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 my, my point is. <laughs> <laughs> that all their all their women's divisions suck across every show. Raw is probably the worst women's division. SmackDown at least you have Bailey, Carmella, Bianca Belair, Sasha, Liv Morgan, Ruby Riot, Billy Kay. You have something that you have people that they could do something with. Who do you have on Raw? Oscar, Charlotte, Peyton Royce, Lacey Evans, Nia Jax, Shayna. What kind of division is that? First of oh, all, don't forget Lana. Those Lana stands are gonna come at you if you don't. For, if you Lana, Lana isn't a fucking wrestler, she's a fucking ballet dancer who, <laughs> for some reason, it tries to when she does moves try to add ballet dancing into it, and she looks like a freaking goddamn. When she mm, does an Irish whip, fucking, she, she does some curtsies. She looks like fucking has Tourette's when she's in the ring. <laughs> it's like, God. <laughs> she tries to do moves and as ballet dances, half the time she can't hit the moves right. And then, then she has the fucking nerve to sit here and post all these goddamn videos of her training with Natalia. What? Where? As a matter of fact, where is Natalia? No. To be honest, Natalia can't train. Is Natalia on SmackDown? She's... Or is she on Raw? I don't even know. But Natalia can't train because she's the one that trained Ronda Rousey. Well, shiver me timbers, Austin. I can... Oh, God. Maybe fucking I mean, Natalia should just fucking jump off the top of the fucking Thunderdome <laughs> like Owen Hart. Oh, my God. <laughs> fucking God. It, it, this rant is supposed to be about Carmel. I'm just saying their women's division fucking sucks in general. First of all, they should get rid of the women's tag team titles. Get rid of one of the women's titles. Have one single women's title for a single motherfucking division. Then you have depth in your division, but they won't use anybody. They don't push anybody besides Sasha Banks, Bailey, Charlotte, and Asuka right now. If Becky was still there, Becky would still be in that top billing too. And probably Ronda if Ronda was still there, but at this Dude, point, Ronda would have all every freaking title. They would give every freaking title to her. They would give the Money in the Bank to her, the Royal Rumble to her, God, everything can, to her. She can, you know, she can stick to her fucking Facebook gaming fucking deal that she has that <laughs> nobody know, fucking she's, watches. She's, nobody she's watches even... Facebook gaming. Nobody. When she Did does she collabs she's with doing people, nothing? when she collabs you with know, people fucking everybody else is on Twitch except her. She stands out like a sore thumb. Why? Why would you partner with Facebook Gaming? There's no money to be made there. I don't go on Facebook. You don't go well, on Facebook. She's making My mom anyway. doesn't go on Facebook. My goddamn fucking grandfather doesn't go on Facebook. Every time I go <laughs> on Facebook, I don't fucking see nothing but people bitching and complaining about how much their life suck. Why would anybody want to go on Facebook to watch Ronda Rousey play World of fucking Warcraft? Why? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Apparently, she's even if she's getting money from Facebook, she she's not she's making enough money in WWE, just not doing anything because she's got making over a million dollars a year. Oh, well, that, just well, that's just not doing anything. That's just great and dandy. She can sit there in her fucking cowgirl boots and her goddamn straw hat covered in fucking pig shit on the goddamn <laughs> farm. Oh, I goddamn she, care. She could go in her freaking end of the world bunk- bunker. You know, she can... F- mm. I hope one of her co- horses fucking kicks her in the head. <laughs> fucking... This is supposed to be about Carmel. I'm just saying, the women's division suck in general. But this is about Carmel. Like, Carmel is fucking trash. She looks like one of those fucking Bart, like, uh, Barbie dolls that they sell for, like, little girls. Because she, like, legitimately has the Barbie hair, the freaking... Oh, no, not Barbie. She looks like a fucking Bratz doll. You know how the oh. Bratz dolls have, like, the hair and, like, the oh, big-ass oh, lips? That's what Carmella looks like. She looks like the blonde fucking Bratz doll. 
that fucking gets in there and tries to to fucking wrestle. I will say she's better than Lana and Eva Marie and whatever, but like it's just I see no improvement with Carmella. And the thing that pissed me off was I understand it's her heel character and whatever, but like they're putting her, they're giving her another title match because she pinned Sasha clean in a tag team match when Sasha already beat her clean in a title match. I don't see how. I mean, I get it. You pin the champion, get a title match, whatever, but, like, you already lost the champion clean. Nobody wants to see these two wrestle again. Their first match wasn't even that good, and Sasha won, which I knew she would, and Sasha should have a decent reign with that title before anybody takes it off of her. If she loses it at all, I don't want her to lose her to at least WrestleMania, at least, at the very least, at the minimum, but Carmella... Fucking, she might as well go back to sucking Corey Graves off instead of being in the ring because <laughs> I think she what, still is. I'm probably gonna get canceled on Twitter for this, like JD from New York. But I guarantee you, she gives better head than fucking knowing how to do a freaking wrestling hold. <laughs> she grasps I mean, Corey's fucking probably two inch cock better than she does a freaking lockup. Jesus Christ! Fucking, she she sat there and said. <laughs> That she does, she can't believe Sasha's is the ranked the number one wrestler in the world, and how she's more talented than Sasha. B- bitch, you can't even fucking do a suplex without sliding and fucking acting like you're gonna botch. You can't. Don't fucking sit there and say that. Like I understand it's a heel character. I understand, but don't fucking sit there and say that you're more talented than Sasha Banks because it's not true. No person on this planet would ever believe Carmella is better in the ring than Sasha Banks. Nobody can fucking sit there and tell me that Carmella deserves to be women's champion. The only thing Carmella deserves is to fucking work at a strip club the way she fucking <laughs> dresses every goddamn week. <laughs> She fucking should be fucking working at a goddamn strip club, working the pole, selling her goddamn wine. She'd be better off doing that than trying to fucking wrestle Sasha Banks and making Sasha Banks look fucking bad. And then said then, OnlyFans. I would subscribe to a Carmelo OnlyFans as, as any man any man would, but I don't. The Corey Graves would, probably wouldn't allow that. But she'd make more money doing that than she would with WWE, probably. But it's you like, know, and the sad thing is. She's the daughter of a wrestler. Yeah, she's the daughter of fucking... I don't know what his name is. God damn it, now I'm gonna look it up. <laughs> Who is Carmella the daughter of? Not Carmelo, Carmella. <laughs> <laughs> she's the daughter of Paul Van Dale. A mixed martial artist and professional wrestler who worked in WWF in the 80s and 90s. So the the, the Jim Cornette era. <laughs> did she train him? I mean, did, did he train her? Doesn't look like it. I don't... No. All she does is fucking come out. No, every... see, see who trained. Who trained that her, her... I guarantee you it's fucking Natalia. <laughs> If it's her, if it's her dad, that's sad. Because I think her dad actually worked. Trained good. by Sarah Amato in the performance center. Sarah Amato, fuck you. That explains it. She probably she trained. In probably tra- wrestling school. I bet she probably trained Lana, and she probably trained Eva Marie. Because because I saw this stupid. They did no, a WWE Lana actually, on Lana. Why? I think Lana actually got. Got trained by Tyson Kidd. <laughs> Sadly. <laughs> so you have Brian Kendrick train Eva Marie. You have Tyson Kidd train Lana. <laughs> Two great wrestlers. Can I ask, what fucking got lost in translation? What? I, I'm confused. It had to be Lana and Eva Marie because Brian Kendrick has trained so many other people. And freaking Tyson Kidd has trained so many other people. Maybe they're fucking... Tyson Kidd, tra- Tyson Kidd trained Natalia. Maybe they're fucking fake tits and fake goddamn lips fucking knock off their balance and they can't wrestle. I don't fucking know. Maybe all the freaking <laughs> pounds of makeup they pile on every goddamn week. That's another thing God. about fucking Carmella. Because, like, every week she comes out wearing some kind of skimpy-ass dress and high heels, drinking fucking wine and has this fucking slave working for her. Fucking 
coming out with like a 50 pound bag of makeup on her goddamn face and it's like yeah she's hot but it's like goddamn you look better without the fucking makeup second of all nobody fucking takes you seriously because you do a fucking moonwalk and you try to freaking act all tough when you're just a fucking reality tv looking fucking person i think she was on total divas for one season yeah but sad thing is i could do a moonwalk better than her I'd love to see Austin hit a moonwalk. <laughs> I'm not hitting the moonwalk, but I could do a moonwalk better than her. God. Got her. Mm. Oh, it makes me mad. Her head looks like a fucking pear, the way it's shaped. <laughs> Literally, like, Carmela, Carmela sits there and says she's all natural. She ain't all natural. If you look at Carmela 2013 and Carmela now, her lips are way bigger, her tits are different. Her fucking tan is different. Don't sit there and tell me you're all natural. Fucking fuck off with that. <laughs> all now, Fucking. God damn it. Pisses me off. Sitting there fucking all natural. But, but Demo. Yeah, those Carmella stands. <laughs> Those Carmella stands are gonna cancel you. Now, all those Carmella stands can go jump off the fucking Golden Gate Bridge for all I care. Oh, Jesus Christ! But she's good in the ring. She's just misunderstood. All she does is do a shitty ass super kick. That's her finisher, and she does this stupid ass submission where she wraps her legs around your goddamn neck and tries to freaking choke you. I she mean, I is... what? I would want to be in that submission. You would. I mean, it, where she's you're, she's choking you with her, her legs. I mean, yeah, me too. I would love to be in that position as long as I get to freaking turn her around and eat eat her out eventually. <laughs> but like, oh, she ain't Christ. gonna she ain't gonna be choking me. That ain't gonna happen. Do that's you all think, she knows uh, how to do. That's it. Do you do you think that's the position she uses with Corey Gray? <laughs> I don't, I don't fucking know. She needs to work on her wrestling, and Corey Graves needs to work on his fucking commentary because he sucks. Corey Graves used to be a great commentator in NXT. Now he's a fucking cocksucker. <laughs> God. What a gruesome twosome. <laughs> Carmelo with their fake-ass lips and Corey Graves with his fake-ass tattoos and his fucking fake-ass commentary. This fucking fake ass goddamn fucking fuckboy haircut. I hope they find this video. I hope I hope they come after me. <laughs> Fuck Carmelo. It's she gonna be like when Nia, It's gonna be like when Nia Jax found Grim Toy Show's video about like when he was making fun of her. He's <laughs> Carmelo's gonna find the video and like find you, the part about like, You let that goddamn said, sperm whale find this video. You, you, you let that free willy fucking <laughs> you let that fucking free willy stunt double come after me. I will destroy Nia Jax. Fuck Nia Jax. Whoa, 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 pause. Fuck Nia Jax. She's terrible. Looking at Nia Jax is the same as staring at a fucking landfill. Uh, oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, I got a headache. I bet if you threw Nia Jax in the ocean, it would cause a fucking mega tsunami. <laughs> We're not even talking about SmackDown anymore. Goddamn comes out every week res wrestling fucking attire. Looks like a goddamn hefty trash bag. <laughs> That's just no, stretches. I just, no, no, I'm just thinking of the John Cena hefty commercial. Okay, where where are we at? Fuck Carmella, that's where we're at. She's not more talented than Sasha Banks. She's not more talented than half the roster. Fucking, she wishes she could be, but she's not. And to sit there for her to say she's more talented than Sasha Banks is a complete lie. And I think that wine is getting to her head. So yeah, fuck Carmella, fuck Carmella. I would want to fuck Carmella, but that'll never happen. But fucking if Carmella thinks that she's ever going to be on any Sports Illustrated list, she must have a mental deficiency 
because that's <laughs> never gonna happen. Never, she will never be on a top ten wrestlers. Maybe top ten fucking blonde models, maybe, but got never top, uh, there's top better, ten. There's wrestlers. better looking than Carmella. God, you, you ever seen looks Wall like Foley? fucking Cynthia from Rugrats with that? Fucking... You ever seen the Wall Foley? And Wall Foley looks way better than, than Carmella. I don't know how Mick Foley made her, but kudos to him. Yeah. Mick Foley with his hobo looking in them sweatpants and them Skechers sneakers. But anyway, fuck Carmella. She's trash. She doesn't deserve another women's title match. I mean, she deserves to have a women's title match because Carmella is great. She's one of the best heels in the business. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> you don't even know what a heel is. She walks in heels. She's not a good heel. There's two different definitions for a heel. Heel is someone who's great as a heel, like Dakota Kai. Fucking. The other kind of heel is the ones that Carmella wears on her crusty ass feet. Oh, Jesus. Fuck Carmella. Let's move on before I go on another tirade. Are you sure you don't want to go on another tirade? Said, what's your thoughts? <laughs> Let's we'll see what other people are saying in the comments. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Let's see what they're saying in the comments. A lot of people saying Sasha Banks is the most talented ever. People saying Carmella is bad. Car this direction of Carmella is bad. See, we got some smart people on Twitter. <laughs> Yeah, she literally made Carmella tap out. Like, how is Carmella gonna sit there and, like, even act like that? That's dumb. So, Demo, <laughs> what's your thoughts? <laughs> what's your thoughts on, La on Lana? <laughs> Stay in. My thoughts on Lana are about the exact same as the shit in my toilet that I took right before we started this review. <laughs> When I look at when I look at Lana, I see the freaking desecration of shit that I leave in my toilet bowl. I when love I, how Monday it was all me, and now it's basically all you. When I look at Nia Jax, I see that fucking Jurassic Park Triceratops shit. <laughs> when, I, when I look at Carmella, I see the fucking bat guano. <laughs> Now let's move on to the gauntlet match. Okay. So it starts out with Sami Zayn doing Fuck a promo. Carmelo, <laughs> it starts out with Sami Zayn doing a promo about... What did he say? Oh, God. Oh, Sami Zayn came out with his own personal car camera crew. He called them unbiased documentarians. And he <laughs> says that there's a conspiracy going on against him in WWE because he lost the Intercontinental Championship even though he did nothing with the goddamn title but sit there at home and grow his hair out and now he looks like a fucking ginger hobo. No, he won it and then he went away and then he and then Daniel Bryan won it then she, Jeff Hardy? It was AJ it was Styles. Jeff Hardy. AJ and Styles. Then, and then Jeff. And then Jeff. And then they had a ladder match, and then Sammy won it. Yeah, and Jeff jumped off the ladder like a fucking retard. Probably hurt himself again. <sighs> Probably. I wish I would have ran it I mean, on Jeff was... on Monday. I wish. <laughs> I have some things I could say about Jeff, too. Well, I mean, I think he's going to be in the Rumble match. Well, so... You don't say. He was in the past two Rumble matches. What did he do? Get thrown right out. <laughs> Literally painted his face up. For an hour to get thrown out in like five minutes. God, at this point, just release him. Let him go to let him go to AEW and start jumping off shit oh, there. No, 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 no! Don't say that. He's gonna be doing the the freaking delete stuff. It's gonna happen. No, it's gonna happen. You know why? Because Matt Hardy has nothing else to fucking hold on to. That's why. His whole rest of his career, he thinks his career was a joke. He had a good career. Just because he never got to the world title, he got all fucking salty because Jeff was a He got to the Impact multi world title. 
<laughs> yeah, he got to he got to the Impact World Title, and guess what happened? He turned into Big Money Matt. What what happened with that? Not a goddamn thing, because he lost the title, never won it again. To EC3. <laughs> yeah, to EC3. Fucking his head looks like a goddamn fucking bucket <laughs> with with fucking Mr. Potato Head ears. And then he turned broken and won the tag titles again. Yeah, he turned he turned broken, and that's all Matt Hardy has left to hold on to with his career, because he thinks the whole rest of his career was a joke, and he thinks that this is the only thing that's gonna make Matt Hardy better than Jeff Hardy. He's never going to be better than Jeff Hardy. That's the sad. True reality, and Matt just can't ever get over that. And he sat there and went on a whole rant in AEW talking about, I've given everything these past 25 years, and now I'm going to start taking. Bitch, you ain't taking nothing but more fucking back bumps and bumps on your head, because I know you're going to be jumping off goddamn shit, knowing that you're goddamn fucking near goddamn 50 years old now. (laughs) Went to AEW to do your broken shit. What'd you think was going to happen, Matt? What'd you think was going to happen? He didn't went, think he was gonna get a concussion. He was more popular doing the Hardy Boys character in WWE than he was doing oh. Broken Matt in WWE and after WWE. That's the sad truth. But that's all Matt holds on to. And then you know, now you got Jeff out here looking like a freaking moron every week because most of his matches now Jeff is laying on the ground getting his fucking ass beat. It's like, you, dude, you've been in this business for how long, and you're going to let somebody beat your ass? You're going to let Bobby Lashley, the fucking steroid version of Franklin the Turtle, <laughs> choke you out every week? <laughs> I don't know if Jeff's taking stuff before his matches or if he needs to take something, but you got to change it, man. You can't... And sitting there doing swantons off stuff, man. You're not 20 anymore, Jeff. You're going to get hurt. But Demo, the Hardy Bros... Remember the Hardy Bros? <laughs> yeah, the, the Hardy Bros. Might as well have just call them the fucking Evil Bong Brothers or some shit. <laughs> I bet they would both star in the Evil Bong 888 movie. <laughs> fucking RVD oh. too. Throw him in there. I Why mean, RVD, RVD would sign on to it. I don't know if they would let them sign on to it. Why not? You can have You can have Jeff Hardy... Matt Riddle and RVD sitting around a bong while Katie Forbes twerks on it. There's your there's your evil bong 888. Jesus. Anyway, back to the gauntlet match. <laughs> Just swift. Back to the gauntlet match. So Sami Zayn jobbed out. Match started 619. That's it. So bye Sami Zayn. You fucking suck now. It's unfortunate because you were good back in 2016. But oh well. Fuck Sami Zayn, I guess. Yeah, so, so Shinsuke comes him. out. Yeah, then Shinsuke comes out. And Shinsuke's next. And Ray and Shinsuke actually put on a decent match. Um, some good moves. They ended up going out to the floor. Nakamura hit a Kinshasa on the floor. Ray kicked out. It eventually got to where Nakamura hit a second Kinshasa and beat Ray. Um, then... Uh, it was King Corbin. Oh, no. So, I thought it ended with that. I guess I didn't see the end. So, uh, Ray tapped out to an arm bar from Shinsuke. Oh, okay. And then King Corbin came out. And then it was Shinsuke and King Corbin. And they went for a decent little bit. But Shinsuke ends up beating King Corbin. And then Daniel Bryan comes out. And this was something I was actually excited for because literally... Nakamura said the entire reason he wanted to go to WWE was because he wanted to wrestle Daniel Bryan, and he finally got to do that tonight. And you could tell that they're both excited to wrestle each other. And they put on a good showing. Good, It was a great match. They went back and forth. Um, in the end, uh, Shinsuke ended up beating Daniel Bryan, and they shook hands. And we thought Shinsuke was going to be the winner. Also, the winner of this gauntlet match was supposed to go on to the Royal Rumble to face Roman Reigns for the Universal uh-huh. Championship. Get, and then get ready. Shinsuke is... Austin's going to go on another rant. But but Shinsuke, we thought he, was, he won. He was celebrating. Then Roman Reigns, Paul Heyman, and Jey Uso come out. Jey Uso and Roman Reigns start whooping Shinsuke's ass like he owed him 10 fortune cookies or something. <laughs> 
am. Ten fortune cookies. Ten, <laughs> what? Ten fortune cookies and the egg woe. I'm just playing. Oh, <laughs> but they started beating his ass. They knocked out Shinsuke. And then Adam Pierce came out because it, I forgot he was supposed to be in this. So Adam Pierce came out and Roman threw him into the ring. Then they started beating Adam Pierce's ass. Jey Uso hit him with a super kick, so they're both knocked out. So then they drag Adam Pierce across Shinsuke, and the ref counts one, two, three. Adam Pierce wins the gauntlet <sighs> match. So at the Royal Rumble, it will be Roman Reigns versus Adam Pierce for the Universal Championship. What are they even going to do? <laughs> it's gonna... Adam Pierce can't wrestle. <laughs> It'll be well, a great he, match, Austin. He he, he would have wrestled. He, he was able to wrestle back then, but he can't wrestle now. It'll be a great match, Austin. How? Adam Pierce might pull out the win. Adam Pierce is gonna get speared into oblivion. He's gonna get Superman punch, and his head is gonna come off his body. He's gonna get freaking. <laughs> his head is gonna come off of his body. He's gonna get decapitated. Roman's just gonna freaking do the freaking fist, god dang gauntlet, and boom! People it's are saying, over. People are saying Roman Reigns is the best heel since Hollywood Rock. Was Hollywood Rock good? From what I've seen of him, yeah. I, <laughs> Someone I wasn't said, watching that. happy I canceled the network. And then someone responded and said, yet you still follow them on social media to see it anyway. <laughs> someone Man, said, what do you I bet... The network for a Fight TV subscription? Someone said, I bet Adam Pierce... Even. Someone said, I bet Adam Pierce will win at the Rumble with the help of Kevin Owens. They will screw Roman. Why? What's Adam Pierce gonna do? He's gonna oh, now people are saying. It. Now people are saying Nakamura is buried. Yeah, because they made him lose the freaking Adam <laughs> Pierce. The guy is retired. And he has people saying he's not injury. <laughs> and then now there's people saying he's not buried. He just put somebody over. He put Adam Pierce, the guy <laughs> that has a bad freaking back and neck injury. He can't wrestle anymore. This isn't God. a Daniel Bryan story where he could come back and wrestle. He hasn't wrestled in six years for a reason. <laughs> It'll be a great match, though, Austin. People are saying hashtag push Nakamura. It's going to last ten seconds. <laughs> Someone said, me, it can't get worse than Goldberg getting a title match. WWE, hold my beer. Exactly. The, the world title matches is Drew and Goldberg and Roman and Adam Pierce. Someone I just said, realized that. Roman and oh Pierce will be a better match than Goldberg and Drew. It might oh be actually god. true. <laughs> oh my god. Austin's gonna blow a gasket. Oh so. no. So Adam Pierce <laughs> is getting a Universal Championship match. Adam Pierce, the pretty much GM of SmackDown on some Shane McMahon type shit. 2021 already sucks. <laughs> <laughs> well, we had a terrible Raw this week. A crappy AEW. Pretty, I mean, pretty okay NXT and then an okay SmackDown. I'd say out of all the shows this week, Raw was definitely the worst. 100%. Second worst, I'd probably put AEW and then NXT and then SmackDown. Only because I didn't actually watch NXT. Yeah, and NXT had that goddamn Xia Li and Boa crap. <laughs> I saw what you were talking about because I saw a post of it on Instagram. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, you saw the freaking curtain mm -hmm. in the Matrix clone? <laughs> yeah. Legit, a walking curtain. I ain't no curtains can wrestle now. Apparently, freaking Elmo in the on the Indies could wrestle. A guy dressed as Elmo, <laughs> and freaking a curtain can wrestle now. A walking curtain. Hey man, if they can do Invisible Man versus Invisible Dan or whatever, anything can wrestle. <laughs> 
What world are we living in? We are living in a shitty one. God, and now we have to. We're gonna review the Rumble, and the two world title matches are gonna suck. Oh God. <laughs> God, <laughs> but with, yeah, with this review thing, we're not going to be doing it like Raw, NXT, AEW, SmackDown every single week because with my work schedule and stuff, it's just not going to pan out. Because I usually work, I usually work Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. This week, I was lucky enough to have Monday and Friday off. But yeah, sadly, we can't work from home like he can't work from home like Jim Cornette. Yeah. I mean, we could go back and watch and do the review the day after that. It's a possibility, but I don't think either one of us want to do that. No. <laughs> Who would want to do that for Raw? It's going to be worse next... It's going to be worse Monday, dude. <laughs> I, I am not looking forward to it. The only thing worse is if we add Impact on top of that. You do that, and I swear to God. <laughs> is Impact worse than Raw? It's worse than Raw. <laughs> what do they do on Impact that's so bad? They do the god-awful comedy shtick. <laughs> <laughs> and AEW wants to work with them, too. That's the funny thing. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. <laughs> They're working with them because they of their former They did the god glory. dang who killed Johnny freaking whoever. <laughs> god, man. Impact is turned into a circus. It's more of a circus than AEW. <laughs> and Matt Jackson himself said AEW is the Cirque du Soleil of wrestling. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> Jesus Christ. So You know what? Fine. Fine. What? Tuesday. If you want to set your if you want to set a recording or actually no, they have they have vods on Twitch. You can watch it on Twitch. We're so, watching Impact. So the th so my schedule for next week is I work Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Jesus. Which sucks. <laughs> so I won't be able to watch any one of these shows. Awesome, we'll just have to no, take you're... one for the team all week. No, you're watching. <laughs> you're watching. If we're doing Impact, you're watching Impact. I will make sure you watch it after you get off work. <laughs> oh my god. I'm not going through that torture alone. Well, okay. How about how about this, Austin? So, when I when I'm at work, mon Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday, why don't you talk to me when I'm at work so I can hear what's going on, and then when I get home, I can do some sort of review. I'm only doing Tuesday. You think I'm watching Raw again and reviewing Raw again? All right, we'll just do Impact then. Yeah, <laughs> you're crazy. I mean, if you, <laughs> people are expecting us to do this every single week now. No, 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 <laughs> no, no. I hope they do a Raw Legends Night 2. <laughs> oh, God. So apparently uh, what turned out with that is apparently... I saw three different things. I saw they had Carlito and Kurt Angle there, but they ended up mm -hmm. not doing anything with them. Then I saw that Carlito walked out then I saw that they never even contacted him in the first place. <laughs> so I don't know what the truth is. I don't know anymore. They announced him, but then somebody said there was not even a, ever a deal for Carlito to come back. So I'm like, oh, I have no clue. That's they the said, only person I was excited for, you know. They said some of the people that weren't there on on TV were there, but they just didn't do anything with them. So they really got paid for doing nothing. But yeah, so Raw Legends Night was one of the greatest Raws of all time. Better Shut than up. any Attitude Era episode of Shut Raw. <laughs> so Raw is War 2000. Eat your heart I out. I would rather watch the Raw that freaking they had. They announced something about Katie Vick. <laughs> they watch Raw <laughs> Legends Night. Again. Austin said, I would rather watch the Raw where Owen Hart died. <laughs> he didn't die on Raw. Well, it wasn't it wasn't raw? What was it? No, it was uh I believe it was either 
over the edge? It was a pay-per-view. I think it was over the edge. If it's over the edge, that's kind of... Hmm. <laughs> was 98? It was in 98. Give me a second. Which... Let me see what show he died. I shouldn't be laughing right now. <laughs> Don't laugh at Owen Hart's death. <laughs> when he hit Owen Hart... Alright, there we go. Had to split this because recording time stopped. He's hey, looking up the Owen Hart thing. Wasn't it? It was at the Over the Edge uh, pay-per-view. Oh, man. The name did not correlate well with what happened. <laughs> no. Jesus. Rest in peace, Oh, Owen man. Hart. The first, the first picture is him on the stretcher. Oh, I thought you were going to say the first picture is him there. <laughs> or something. No. It's him on the stretcher is the first How picture one. I've seen a bunch of Snoop Dogg memes going around. How fucked up would that be if someone took the Owen Hart tragedy and replaced Owen Hart with Snoop Dogg in the crossbody? Oh, God. <laughs> I saw Sasha oh. Banks uh, responded to like AEW's tweet where they posted the Snoop Dogg crossbody, and she said, "She said, fam, what is this? We need to work on this." <sighs> Man, <laughs> did you know there's no footage? Like they've buried the footage of two different things in the Attitude Era. That and draws is a. Uh... Oh god. Draws his match where he got <laughs> like where he it's got right. fully, you know. It's alright, it's alright, Austin. I insulted the Owen Hart tragedy today and on Monday you insulted oh, Draws, so it works out. <laughs> <laughs> two tra two tragedies insulted by both of us. Jesus Christ, dude. <laughs> I said I said Natalia should end up like Owen Hart and you said that Goldberg will make Drew end up oh. like Draws. Jesus. So I think it's I think it's even. <laughs> My God. If Bret Hart was watching this, he'd be like, "You're talking about my my brother Owen, eh?" Oh, <laughs> oh God. Man, I watched a video. It was when I was doing a project on Hart's death. I did do a project for that. Mm -hmm. Just people who watching. Um, but like, I watched a video of of Brett talking about it and oh my I almost cried in class cause it was it was so <laughs> like Jesus like it was so heartfelt too like well I guess we're done reviewing Smackdown now cause there wasn't much else that happened it was shorter than Raw thank god I really wish Raw would not Otis be three hours. I think Otis entered himself into the Rumble as well. Oh. Well, he lost the money in the bank, so he's not going to win the Rumble. Yep, i just seen it. Otis will be in the 2021 Royal Rumble match. No, no. They're going to do something like the money in the bank. He's going to he's gonna go through the ropes. And yeah. you know what he's going to do? He's going to stay outside, do like eat some ham. And like he's going to wait for the last person. The last person is probably going to be like, who's in the Rumble right now? Do we want to talk about it. 205 Live? <laughs> what happened on 205 Smackdown. Live? So, okay, let me scroll back to the beginning of 205 Live. So they had... Uh, hold on, let me see. So they had uh, Chiseled Adonis versus Arya Davari. Who and is Chiseled Adonis? The Adonis. So it says. I'm pretty sure his name is Chiseled Adonis. No, it's not Chiseled Adonis. It's Ashante The Adonis. Chiseled Adonis is a YouTuber. I got his name mixed up. Uh, but uh, The Adonis won. Then they had Kurt Stallion versus August Gray. I mean, oh, Kurt I Stallion. Who August Gray is. Kurt Stallion and August Gray versus the Bollywood Boys. Well, I know who three of those people are. Apparently, uh, William Regal announced something. What do you say? Is, as William Regal just announced, in addition to NXT, 205 Live will host featured Dusty Cup tag team matches. <laughs> so they're going to do the Dusty Tag Team Tournament on 205 Live. <laughs> <laughs> Who do they have? 
The they Bollywood have the boys. Bollywood brothers. <laughs> That's just Samir and Sunil Singh. Well, they have Kurt Stallion and August Gray. <laughs> They're not even a team. It's August Gray is a singles wrestler. Uh, let's see. Who won? Did they post the result? August Gray and Kurt Stallion beat their only team. <laughs> they beat the Bollywood boys. Huh. Paul. Paul Levesque. Please. That Paul. was 205 Live. There was only two matches. <sighs> 205. I don't even know why that's still a thing. So now I'll have to call this SmackDown in 205 Live review. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Just do the outro. <laughs> you don't have anything you want to say about 205 Live, I Austin? I want to say... <laughs> A word. <laughs> Why? Because if I do, my head already hurts. I'm gonna go on a rant, and I don't want to go on a rant. <laughs> go on a rant, Austin. <laughs> my head already hurts, man. <laughs> what are you going on a rant about? <sighs> what the what, 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 There's three dusty cups. <laughs> They don't even have enough tag teams for it. <laughs> I mean, maybe if they added, like, the Bollywood boys into the regular Dusty Cup, it'd be something, <laughs> but they're doing three! So they're doing one on NXT, one on 205 Live, and one on NXT UK? Is that what it is? Do they have... Do they have... Do they even have... <laughs> enough people on the 205 Live roster to do a Dusty Cup? No. <laughs> the only team they have is the Bollywood Boys. <laughs> That's it. I'm saying, like, singles guys and all. Ooh. There's no way. There's Ari Davari. <laughs> Who is Ari Davari going to team with? He can't team with Davari, because Davari's in freaking impact for some god awful reason. <laughs> oh, my God. That's so like, come on, impact. Muhammad Hassan. I know you can come back. Muhammad Hassan. Oh, my God. <laughs> I like the Bollywood boys. I like Samir and Sunil. They're not bad. <laughs> it's crazy. But you can't... I think they were with Jinder Mahal and now they're on 205 Live. Hey, at least they're doing something, but Mike, they're doing three! <laughs> <laughs> they just don't care about their tag team divisions. Nope. <laughs> Oh my what god, tag teams my do they have hurts. NXT? Besides Undisputed. The the young the grizzled young veterans. <laughs> Danny Birch and um Oni Lorkin. Uh Drake Maverick and Killian Dane. What a tag team. <laughs> Breeze on go. Oh, I forgot about them. Uh Imperium. Are the Forgotten Sons still a thing? Since Jackson no, because they Rock. broke they <laughs> broke all them up. Wesley Blake is a crony from King Corbin, and freaking <laughs> I don't even know where Blake Cutler is or <laughs> Steve Cutler. Where did Steve Cutler go? He didn't even know his name. That's how forgotten he is. <laughs> exactly, he's so forgotten that Steve Cutler. I don't even know where he went. He just <laughs> suffered, he's not even in NXT. He went into oblivion. He got Thanos snapped. Oh my god. <laughs> Wesley Blake looks like a freaking nobody jobber now, and he's a crony for King Corbin, and Jackson Riker, I'm surprised he didn't get fired with all the freaking political crap he was posting <laughs> on his Twitter. I saw some of the stuff he said, I was like, wow, he's really just going out there and saying that, huh? Exactly! And he still didn't get fired, because you know what? Vince doesn't care! <laughs> Oh and you know God. what? This isn't gonna be. The thing is, it's not gonna be as bad as what I'm gonna. Ha as what we're gonna have to watch on freaking Impact. <laughs> Impact's still gonna be worse. We get to watch Suicide and Manic team up. Shut up, because it will <laughs> happen. We get to to see the continue the murder mystery storyline and whatever else Impact has going on. We have to see Kenny Omega. 
<laughs> I heard Impact was bringing back their Knockouts Tag Team Championships. They don't even have any Knockouts teams. <laughs> <laughs> they were making, uh, they had a Knockouts Tag Team title tournament, and they had just had a bunch of makeshift teams. <laughs> I want to look up what they were. <laughs> I'm gonna have to see freaking the Karate Man. <laughs> Why did they do this to the North? Why did they break up the North? That was the only good team they had on their show. Oh, they broke up the North. Yes, because why else would Ethan Page be doing this stupid? Ethan Page is facing himself. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you want to know the teams for the Knockouts Tag Title Tournament? I don't know if I do. <laughs> so you have Tennille, Dashwood, and Alicia. Who's Alicia? I don't know. Uh, you have... They're facing... I don't know if this tournament happened already, because it was announced in November, but... Uh, Havoc and Nevea. I Killer know who Havoc is. Who's Nevea? Killer Kelly and Renee Michelle. Jordan Grace they and have to be announced. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Killer Kelly. Killer Kelly does ha has no nothing. Absolutely nothing to do with Renee Michelle. They're a team. <laughs> Versus Jordan Grace and to be announced. She doesn't even have her partner. <laughs> Uh, I think that was Jazz. I think that's because I heard something about Jazz return. Oh God, Kiara Hogan and Tasha Steeles against the Sea Stars. Who are the Sea Stars? So I know one of them is Ashley Vox because she debuted on AEW last week. Uh, I don't remember who the other one. I think it is like Delmi or something like that. They're like an indie team. Uh, of course, Diana Perazzo and Kimberly. And okay, Ty, Taya sense. Valkyrie and Rosemary. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what was that last one again? Taya Valkyrie and Rosemary. <sighs> Austin's headaches just getting worse and worse. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have something to say about it? <laughs> What? <sighs> Manic and suicide makes more sense than Taya Valkyrie and Rosemary. <laughs> I want to see who Impact's tag teams are right now. I'm just curious. Oh my god, please. <laughs> so, uh, this, is, this isn't updated. But it says Falaba and TJP, but I know TJP's back to being manic now, I think. Uh, Larry D <sighs> Why and AC even... Romero. Who? Larry D and AC Romero. Adam Isn't Thorne. AC... Huh? Isn't AC Romero like 400 pounds? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <sighs> Reno Scum, which is Adam Thornstow and Luster. They're Legend. still employed? It says 2020. The no, Deaners, Cody Deaner, no, and wait, Jake wait. Deaner. Don't, 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 don't be going. How is <laughs> Reno Scum still employed? They were employed when I was watching DNA. Yeah, this uh, this is a. Uh... Okay, view the most up to date roster on the Impact site. If you try to go to the Impact site, it says page not found. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to go to Impact Wrestling. Dot com and it says page not found. <laughs> okay, um. Oh my lord. Okay, it doesn't show it as ta Okay, there we go. The Deaners, Cody Deaner and Jake Deaner. The, the Good Brothers, Gallows and Anderson. They're the too good for that company. The Killer Death Machines, Jeff Havoc and Nevea. The North, which they broke up. Mm -hmm. Motor City Machine Guns and the Rascals Demon Xavier, Trey Miguel and Zachary The Rex. Rascals left Oh okay yeah this isn't updated then. <laughs> but that's what it says that their teams are 
We'll talk about 2021. We'll Rosemary and Taya Valkyrie. That has more in co- Freaking stale bread. I can't find it. And Cheetos have more in common than Taya <laughs> Valkyrie and stale Rosemary. bread and Cheetos. <laughs> that, that has more in common than Taya Valkyrie and Rosemary. <laughs> I think we should save all this impact ranting for when we watch impact. <laughs> You're the one that started it. <laughs> I mean, we had to say what we were doing next. <laughs> I like doing reviews with you, Austin. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Well, <laughs> this was your, uh, SmackDown review for, uh, Friday, January 8th, 2021, and also 205 Live. <laughs> Probably the best show of the week so far, in my opinion. Only because I didn't really watch NXT, but, uh, yeah. Anything else you want to say, Austin? Be sure to stay tuned for next Tuesday when we watch Impact Wrestling. (laughs) (laughs) When we is Impact two hours. Mm -hmm. (laughs) I don't even have to actually watch it. I'll be at work. That's sweet. (laughs) Austin actually has to watch it. Don't you have to get, like, Destination America or some shit to watch that? Mm-mm. I have access. Oh, on Access TV. You could watch it on Twitch. I, I well. guess I could try to watch it when I'm at work, but I feel like it'd be easier for me to just talk to you while you're watching it. <sighs> <laughs> What do you when you uh, fast forward through shows? What do you use to do that? The fast forward button. I meant like, do you DVR them? Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, I can't do that because <laughs> I don't have a DVR. <laughs> I guess I could watch the impact highlights. <laughs> Unless I. Unless I go on watch wrestling and I am able to fast forward through the show on there. Other other, other than that, Austin's going to be the one watching it. <laughs> this has me excited now. Because I know you're going to be so mad. <laughs> so we're, we're going to be watching Impact. And, and anything else coming up that we're going to be watching besides the Rumble? No. I think we should do a review of the Royal Rumble, and then I don't know if they're gonna do Elimination Chamber. We should we should review that, and I think we should review WrestleMania. What do you think? I'm still thinking about Impact. <laughs> Is Impact having pay per views coming up? Hard to kill. We could review that. <laughs> I hate you. What day is it on? Oh, I got it marked in my calendar because I know those indie smarts are going to make me watch it. Impact Hard to Kill 2021. I got, I've got, i got it on my calendar. It says January 16th. Yeah, and... <laughs> so next Saturday. Next, ooh, I probably have to work. <laughs> I hate you. I can't help my schedule just happens to fall on all the days that these shows are on. And they're always why did you on have to mention? Why did you have to mention Hard to Kill? I'm already have to, gonna have to watch it. <laughs> I wonder what, what's their card for Hard to Kill. Impact Wrestling Hard to Kill. I know the Karate card. Man versus Ethan Page is a match. <laughs> <laughs> we I'm gotta watch so that. Pain. So, Impact <laughs> Knockouts Championship: Diana Perazzo versus T- Taya Valkyrie. X Division title, Manic versus Chris Bay versus Rohit Raku. Knockouts tag team titles, Kiera Hogan and Tasha Steeles versus Havoc and Nevaeh. So I guess that's the finals of that tournament. 
old school rules, six man tag, Eric Young, Diener, and Joe Deering versus Cousin Jake, Rhino, and Tommy Dreamer. Why? Barbed Wire Massacre, Eddie Edwards versus oh, Sammy Oh, no. <laughs> oh, Austin, it's not over yet. Kenny Omega, Doc Gallows, and Carl Anderson with Don Callis versus Rich Swan and the Motor City Machine Guns. But that's not it. The Karate Man versus Ethan Page. Is, it's in the last spot. So is that the main event? <laughs> <laughs> that's going to be a great show you have to watch, Austin. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> Just end it. Just end it. <laughs> All right. Stay tuned for when we review Impact next uh -huh. Tuesday. Until then, thank you all for watching this review of SmackDown and 205 Live for January 8th. I hate you all. Or is it 8th? Yeah, January 8th, 2021. Uh, until, until Impact, we'll see you next time. Peace.